Hi! In this video, I wanted to do something a little more complicated than what I've done so far. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like, and then I will explain how I set up the layers. Um, but don't worry, because if it looks like it's just way too confusing, I will be making all these more complicated um, templates that I'm creating basically they're like practice files or or just complementary tools that you can use when I'm am as I'm explaining these so you can dig under the hood play with them mess them up change colors it's not gonna they're just basically practice files for you to to utilize to get a little bit more comfortable with what I'm the concepts that I'm doing so um, in some of the earlier video videos, I, cre I used the uh, duotone uh, uh, panels, the, uh, back the solid backgrounds, or the transparent overlays that had no animation to them. They're simply PNGs, and I, I stacked them in, in multiple layers, you know, in Easy Video Lab. And then I used some of the built-in um, animations for... The, the image animations. Very simple really, but again, very effective. So my goal here, let me just run this real quick and I'll show you um, how I set this up. So here it starts off with a simple gr orange to red um, background, basically a solid, and I'm running it things move, image pops up, a panel slides by, a different image pops up, a, slant, a panel slides again, another image pops up, then it fades out to be something solid where maybe a logo or something along those lines can, a logo and a contact phone number or website URL or whatever could, could be placed. So that was my thought, 12 seconds of three images kind of sl sliding, um, with sliding panels exposing the three different images, a place always to the right where you could write text um, and other other images, maybe a logo or, or something along those lines. But let me just, I'm just going to show you this slowly, manually, instead of running it. So it starts off obviously solid. The panels start coming together. And, and as before, what I did was I uh, used duotone layers, PNG layers, to come in from the sides and from the top and the bottom to create an area where an image is going to be behind it. Basically our cutout. And notice that, that these uh, PNGs are, a lot of these are slanted. So what I did was I created a a bunch of the uh, the overlays and the background, the solid background PNGs in a slanted format, and those are going to be part of the product um, in the bonus area because I thought that just added something a little more interesting. There's a lot you can do with slanted PNGs, especially um, uh, uh, with uh, you know when you're working with um, Easy Video Lab. So very very simple. What I'm going to do here is I'll, sh I'll go forward a little bit more. So notice I've got an area where it's fading, a, a, a solid colors fading to expose an image, right? So everything's there. It's on for you know a second. That's one and a half seconds, about two, almost two seconds. Another panel slides, and, and the location of it is behind most everything except for the images, um, you know, the pictures. So that slides from the left, and it kind of covers that, and it slides, it slides. Notice that these are the duo tones, so the, the different colorations as they're moving just adds a little bit extra interest. That panel is sliding, sliding, sliding off to the right, exposing image number three. So, so that's on for one second, one and a half seconds, two seconds, two and a half, up almost two and a half. So right about here, another panel 
um, like that front panel that you see off to the right, the right side, that begins to slide way off to the left and in doing so it covers up the picture and it's a slant, slanted uh, PNG, so that's sliding, sliding, sliding and it's exposing picture number three goes off to the side, there's picture number three and it's there for one second, one, one and a half seconds, right about two seconds, one and a half, two seconds, um, everything starts to fade out. Basically I have an image covering it um, as you can see and it's fading and then I have it, it being held there for about one second, two seconds, about two and a half, a little more than two and a half seconds where I thought that might be plenty of time just for a, an end logo and a website URL or a contact phone number or something along those lines. Obviously you can make this as long as you need it to be. But for this demonstration purposes I wanted to make it about 12 seconds long overall. And, and let's go over how I set this up. And again, um, a lot of this as I was doing it was uh, tweaking and fine-tuning um, the the times over here in the um, animation times the the duration and the out speed and and figuring out what out animation and how long I wanted that to happen so there was there was a lot of tweaking going on here it, this certainly wasn't a quick project but I I will make this available to you so you can maybe reuse it for whatever you need it to be uh, or um, take dissect this yourself and create your own version of this with different colors of the um, the uh, um, duotone you know PNGs that I've backgrounds that I've created and are part of the product. So let's talk about the bottom. Basically the, the thing that ha I, is in the bottom is a solid, um, the solid background, it's a duotone and what that does is it's, it makes sure that the very 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 beginning frame of the video is this, is a, is a color instead of white and, and it it took me a little while to figure out that's what I needed to do. So I start, you know, you use one of the duotone solid um, as uh, the um, the background as uh, the the beginning the 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 um, the thing that makes your beginning frame have color instead of white. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got going on here. So this right here, this right there is some is what is my fade out so notice that as the cursor moves and as this image right here which is a um, a slant but it didn't have to be a slant again I was just kind of playing around it's very quick and by one second it fades all the way out because I didn't want it to be too long before the first image appeared and this is the image right down here that's image number one so that that's how these are working together and then notice this one two three and four okay um, this is the This one right here is this left um, panel. I have it coming from the left. This one right here is the right panel, obviously, and that's coming from the right as it's animating in. And the slant, this one's a slant. The left and the right are slant images. So what I did was for the top and bottom I ended up using just the uh, rectangle because of the way the angles kind of came in and went out and that it was just easier to use the, the full rectangles. But notice that this one right here is the top part of the frame and that's coming from the top the animation and the bottom one is the bottom part of the frame coming from the bottom. So that you can kind of see the animation 
on the top and the bottom, but you can't really. And I was, um, I'm not sure I'm happy with, with that, but I, I'm, the, you know, I'm going to live with that. So if you can figure out a better way to, to make those pop more then you know, please share it with me because I couldn't figure it out. So, um, that's, these four are the, um, uh, top, bottom, left, and right. Now this one right here, okay, this one right here is what is actually the same as, notice it's a slant and it's coming from the left and I've got it it's what kind of cover it, it's like what I'm using as a transition between the images between the pictures so it's coming from the left going way 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 off to the right and it basically sits behind this front one right there you don't really know it's there but I know it's there so and you'll see here in a minute so that's kind of sitting there and that that shows us um, so this is basically our, what I'm using to create the transitions between the images. So it's going for a few seconds. And then this top one, or excuse me, this right one right here is, notice the exit left out animation and I, again I had to just kind of play with these settings until I liked the timing of it all right so I'm going to watch that happen it's gonna go 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 all the way out to the left and it kind of disappears um, behind that left uh, panel um, and what we see, what we're left here is that left panel, and then this this right here is that transition panel that came from the left and went behind everything else, and then obviously this is top and this is bottom, and you can see why I chose the the full rectangle for the top and bottom, just because the edges and the corners played uh, it looked nicer that way. So let's continue on. I'm gonna go forward a little bit more that's that picture is showing for a couple of seconds and my thought process was this is just a great way to display three pictures maybe product or in this case it, you know their um, destination scenes and then uh, these would be great places right around here for uh, text and and images that you can add from easy video lab and then right here, notice I've got, this is right here, this is my fade, my fade out kind of image right here. So he, see this right here? And I've got my fade, it's a fade in animation, slowing down, leave on stage, and it just basically creates my fade out effect to give me a solid surface that I can Again, maybe add a logo, uh, website URL, contact information, and it lasts for a couple of seconds until it goes away. So kind of a long explanation on how that worked. And honestly, when I was when I was creating this, just getting the the the, pan, the panels set up to where they did what I wanted it to do the, them to do and the timing that took the longest. And then the very last things were the um, the pictures, you know, the 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 pictures that was very easy you know to, to put in once I had these open spots right here because this is basically this is basically just a, you know open space then I was able to easily put my images in and set the transition of them when the, the those sliding panels were in place moving and and see how it just transitions right there exposing that picture and the same with this one right here anyway that was a lot of fun took a lot of work but I thought I just wanted to explore a little more complicated 
um, project using these panels or these um, uh, PNG um, overlays and backgrounds in the duotone color schemes that again add quite a bit of character to an otherwise a boring uh, frame of these images. So I hope I didn't confuse you too much and again I'll make this project available as a template so you can use it as to, to tear it apart and and dig around and look at my settings and maybe duplicate the you know the effort and see if you can kind of come up with a, a something similar. Um, anyway, uh, sorry about the long video, but I just wanted to really get under the hood of a more complicated, more difficult project that I was able to do with Easy Video Lab and some uh, PNG, non-animated PNG files to create um, uh, basically a, a moving animated frame that allowed me to show multiple pictures um, and I uh, thought this might be a good applicable project for lots of situations. So if you have any questions just let me know but um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the project. Thanks a lot.